going on guys Connor and Shane we're back you know I'm just gonna be talking about you know some random projects today just some stuff I've been watching in the markets and you know a little bit of BRC 20 Bitcoin ecosystem you know a little bit of updates on you know the overall market because you know I feel like and there goes my face I feel like the market has been very just I don't want to say kind of not doing anything but you know, certain coins have been really flying. A lot of coins have been dumping. You know, and some coins have just been kind of chilling. Like, we got Bitcoin. Bitcoin, in my opinion, is still kind of just sitting out. Really hasn't moved, you know, over the last few days anyways. It's been very stagnant. Like, I'm pretty sure that this is prepping for some sort of move. Whether it's to the upside or the downside, but... I think it's probably going to the downside at some point. You know, that's kind of my bias here, but, you know, we'll see what happens with it. <clears throat> I think if crypto can drop a lot more and or Bitcoin itself decides to dump, you know, we could see insane entries. Excuse me, coming up. <laughs> wow, CoinGecko's starting to run some ads up here. That's crazy. Um, yeah, but I'm just talking about a few projects that... You know, I've talked about on the channel before and that I've actually just, you know, I'm really looking into heavy at the moment. Um, NKI, you know, like I've talked about this multiple times. You know, this, in my opinion, is fairly high risk of a project to be in. But fundamentally, you know, there's not, there's not too many things, too many red flags as far as for what this project can actually pull off. Especially with the... Um, Especially with the chart. Pull NKI up here. Let me delete all the shit I had on there the last few days. But yeah, I mean, I still think the chart is, you know, it's launched, it's came back down, and it's found its kind of bottom, you know, in this general area here. You know, and personally, I think this looks great. I think this is going to be a very good chart. And a very just like very strong long-term hold, you know, just from this current area here, I think it's going to be a great play. Um, my God, this is crazy. I'm going to quit this out. Hopefully that helps. But yeah, NKI, in my opinion, it looks really good. Uh, that's mainly one that I've been watching heavily that I, again, I really think this is a lot of upside. And again, please do your research. Look into it yourself if you're ever going to invest in it. And also understand the potential market conditions and where they could be coming. Or rather going. But NKI is one I've been watching very heavily. Ah, uh, what's another one? One that I've been watching specifically today. You know, we do have... I mean, Revest is one I talk about on the channel a lot. Like, Revest has been, you know, it's sitting right around 20 million. You know, it has finally had a correction. I think it's been needed for a little bit. And it's kind of chilling where it is now. But I do think over time, you know, whether this does correct a little bit more, you know, eventually bounces and goes right back up. You know, this is one... To be holding for the long term. You know, another one too I'm going to bring up that I've, I've talked about. I don't know if I've talked about it on the channel. I think once I have, yeah. So this is Landex. So Landex, they focus on agriculture and farmland. You know, and providing funding for farmers and stuff that need any sort of equipment or just funds to do anything with their farmland. Um, and what they do is... Bottom line, they're a real world asset project dealing with that kind of stuff. It's very complex with how they do it, with their lending and staking and everything, but it's really interesting. And again, it's a very new project, so, you know, it's obviously it's had its launch and it's come down. And at this point, like, I'm just, I've been, I'm actually in this one. I'm currently down on it a little bit. But at this point, like I said, usually when you got new projects like this, 
there's going to be some downside. There's no telling 100% where it's going to end. But in my opinion, it's there's got to be some sort of bottom in this area. Like, this does look like it, this could hold as a nice bottom. But I think... Excuse me. But I think longer term... Yeah, no matter literally what happens... I think just buying, holding something like this... Where... I do this every time. I'm trying to find the pen tool and I can never find it. There it is. Yeah, because the price goes up. You know, it does this. You know, it may come back down, continue, and it's, eventually it's going to do something like that. It'll come right back up to no matter where you bought in, it'll come right back up and eventually just crack out and make brand new highs. You know, it takes a while sometimes. Sometimes projects do that within, you know, a week and a half. Sometimes projects take, you know, th sometimes three, four months to, you know, pull that off, which I feel like that's kind of rare, especially in conditions like right now when we're coming into a bull market or we're already in you know a heavy bull market even if a correction is going to come like a lot of these projects even if they go down a little bit more you know they the upside to it is going to be nothing in comparison to what the downside will be you know this this is just one i've been watching very heavily i like land x and again i'm allocated in it um all right, I'm just going to continue to DCA very lightly and slowly if it continues to drop and until it really shows signs of, you know, it's kind of done with its downtrend, it comes back up, pulls some sort of retest, it kind of chills out right back into this area. That's going to be another, probably the final finisher position, like the last position I'm going to put in on it and just let it ride. Well, like I said, Landex is a great project. This one looks just long-term, very strong, and I want to see this one completely just melt faces. But again, do your research. Check this one out, Landex as well. You know, and honestly, too. Mm, mm. Oh, my God. Yeah, I was actually, I've been looking at some, uh, Brand new pairs on Solana and ETH over the last day or two. This one specifically too, Ferret AI. This one I was watching. I was literally on Dex Screener when this launched yesterday, I think. Or, yeah, yesterday. I, I think I saw this on some of the first 5 to 10 one-minute candles. I was just watching it. Check the website out, you know, and I was like, nah. But as you can see, this thing went from literally 100k around there when I was looking at it, upwards when it was at its peak, like 8 million, almost 9 million. You know, like these, some of these meme coins, they just run out of nowhere, I'm telling you. You know, and I've had some people ask me like, well, well how do you, uh, you know, if you're curious to look into how, you know, how to look at brand new coins that are launching on DEXs and just new coins in general, this is going to be where you're going to go, is deck screener. Because what I was saying is I've had people ask me in the last few days, like, how do you look at, like, new projects and stuff like that? Um, so you're going to just come to deck screener. At the top, it's going to automatically show, like, trending coins and stuff. Um, but what I usually do... Why am I, like, blanking out? Oh, yeah, go to the main menu. So main menu is just going to have a list of random coins. So what you're, you're going to want to do is I usually will hit, whether trending quick, I usually will just do rather, let's say 24 hours, and then we're going to hit the new pairs tab. You can find the new pairs tab right there, or if you just go here, oh, I was like, there it is. So when you're on the deck screener, main page, just go to the new pairs button right here. So now you're on new pairs for whatever, the day, the hour. So now you can sort it by however it is, by the price, by the age, the buy, sells, volume. But if you're looking for brand new pairs, as in the literal second, what you're going to want to hit is when you're in the new pairs tab, hit newest here. And then you're going to want to filter it by age. And now the age is going to show you literally like by the minute, these new pairs that come out, these new coins. 
you know, and according to where they launched, like as you can see, this one's on Solana, Solana, this is on Binance, and then it shows you like the decks or where it's actually launched. So this one's on Pancake Swap. You could buy this right now. Don't buy it. I don't know what the hell it is. It's probably a rug. Um, but then you got this one here launched on Solana. The pool, liquidity pool is on Radium. Same thing here, another one. But then also you can filter it. Once you have new pairs, you hit the newest tab. You filter it by age. And then if you want to filter it by chain as well, you want to go to the top here, you can hit ETH. So what now what it's filtered as is you're only seeing new ETH pairs that just launched, you know, as recent as possible. You know, there's a, a bunch of new ones that just launch all the time, you know. But sometimes it's, I wouldn't recommend just, you know, sitting at your screen watching these 24 seven, but you know, sometimes you can find really good projects very early, like literally within minutes from when they launch, you know, but what you kind of got to do is you can't just find one here and just go and buy it. Like you got to make sure that, you know, the project is somewhat legit. And, but the thing is, is when it's that early, it's, it's kind of hard to tell, like you're really taking a gamble when you're doing something like that especially on these Solana pairs, like as you guys can tell, like just in the last, let's say 10 minutes here up to this coin, you know, you can just see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11, like literally 10 out of what, 15 of these coins are already rugged. That's why it's so risky being just, you know, trying to ape from stuff like this. I never recommend doing this for anyone unless you know how to research and know what you're doing. But this is just for you guys that are asking and curious, you know, like another one just loaded in 20 seconds ago, e -grands. But like, I'm not gonna buy that. Like, I swear, some of these memes, like these people just create random tokens, like baby dog whiff. It's like, bro, who is gonna buy that? Used crazy shit, magic cat, like, Dude, I don't know if they're trying to be funny or they're just thinking of the most random thing, but it's like, that's, no one's going to buy that. Like, no one is buying 98% of these, like, literally. Like, I don't know. It's, the bar is so low, these meme coins, too, I swear. Soltoshi, Solomo, like, bro, I'm not buying that. Like, are you kidding? And it, I mean, it already rubbed, but it's like, come on. My bottom line. That's, you know, again, just, those are some coins I'm watching. You know, I've been just checking them out. One coin, you know, I'm actually, I don't want to point anything out here, but bottom line, that's, that's just how you guys would be able to do it. If you're very curious at looking into new coins and new pairs on these chains, you know, Dex Screener, like if you guys are interested in BRCs and Bitcoin DeFi stuff, they don't have that on DEXs, whether you know or you're familiar with that or not. They don't have it on like main DEXs like that. Um, so that's going to be a different, a whole different I like way that you go about searching for projects and stuff like that. But like I said, if you want to look at ETH projects, Solana, look at Arbitrum, Avalanche, Base. You know, they have so many pairs. They even have Manta. They got Metis, Say, Sui, like all the newer any sort of major protocol they got on here. You know, it's it's cool. Definitely recommend Dex Screener. I don't use Dex tools at all anymore. This is like the only, one of the only scanner projects that I use and that I've used for over two years now. Just I'm on this every single day. So bottom line, that's, you know, a random thing I wanted to throw at you guys. Um, and then also, let me just update you guys with some BRC20s too. Uh, what was I going to do? Uh, Genie Data. You know, and I actually want to see if there's more platforms like Genie Data. You know, we just have, you know, BRC20s just have not been moving right now, you know. And it's just, it is what it is, you know. It's when, you know, it's such a new protocol. You know, it's, it's going to be very high risk. Like I've stated so many times and, you know, protocols are just going to move how they want to move. You know, my conviction for 99% of the coins that I've talked about and that I hold has not changed. But like, yeah, Traverse, as you can see, is down literally 8% today. It, it just continues to just, you know, go down like pretty much all of these coins. 
you know, outside of, you know, Ghosty, I think, and um, Track, you know, those two, those are my highest conviction BRC 20s. But like I said, it was very, it was a little hype wave, which I do easily see this picking up again, especially like within or when once Bitcoin actually cracks its all time highs again, you know, I don't know how soon that's going to be personally, but I think at some point that's going to be, this is going to run 20 times harder than it did already. I think over the last few months was just a sneak peek into what like BRC 20s and you know Bitcoin DeFi as an ecosystem can do. But yeah, even on Fi too is down pretty hard. You know, again, like these could be really good discounts. You know, as long as these teams continue to deliver, you know, whether they even continue to make partnerships with other projects, continue building, like, you know, in my opinion, that's all that matters. Because I think as time goes, especially if BRC 20s, you know, they get outdated or different protocols you know, take the lead. I'm pretty sure that most of these projects are going to understand that, hey, you know, whether we have to migrate, we got to figure something out, we'll move over. Or, you know, BRC 20s just do end up throughout this whole bore on continuing, you know, to show their strength, you know. A bottom line, like I, I don't care like, good or bad what people talk about with anything Bitcoin DeFi, like, in my opinion, it is so here to stay. And it's still going to be one of the most insane narratives for the bull run you know and even ordinals too i'm about to drop an ordinals videos uh tomorrow just talking about like some top collections on ordinals and you know a couple other projects too but yeah for the most part like i said i've talked about a bunch of different brcs brc 20 coins over the you know the last couple months but you know turt um dot com you know, movies, another one. Like those are some, probably the three biggest ones in my opinion and track. Those are the four biggest ones. Even though track is not listed on like an ETH exchange or anything like that yet. Or you know what I think it is. It might be on like gate IO or something. I don't even know. But bottom line, like those are, I think the four biggest ones that are going to do unbelievable still. And you know, there's a lot of like lower cap, micro cap ones, but you know, at this point, I'm just slowly watching a bunch of these, you know, as time goes on. Because for me, it's like, I don't want to just call coins for anyone and everyone. Like, I'm not, you know, I'm trying to find really good projects, you know, to just long-term hold and ride out. Like, I'm not, I'm not a person to just make quick calls every day. Like, that's not, that really just isn't who I am, you know. Um, but I, again, I do believe in this whole ecosystem and... You know, my research here is mainly just for, you know, looking for those absolute long term gems. And there are so many out there. And I think, you know, I, I'm, I will make a video soon talking about the best, you know, gems just across, you know, it's going to be multiple meta protocols and mostly BRC 20s, but really good protocols that I can see, you know, having a very good long term growth, you know, just over this bull run. And I think. I think it'll be huge, you know, because like I said, I'm invested heavily on anything Bitcoin, anything ETH, and even like a little bit of Solana right now. But mainly ETH and Bitcoin are the main two chains that I focus on very heavily investing in. Uh, so bottom line, that's kind of what I wanted to bring up today. Just, you know, just talking about some stuff, random stuff in the market. And, you know, I'll see you guys in the next video.